Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grid Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we're taking a look at a product from Throughnight, and this is the TH10 headlamp. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's the packaging for the TH10 headlamp. We'll just go ahead and open this up so you can see what you get in the box. This is the neutral white version. I don't know if there's a uh, cool white version or not, to be honest. Immediately, you get some all sorts of different information. You get some details about other Throughnight products. You get the instruction manual for the headlamp itself. And right here you have the TH10 headlamp. Further down in the box you get some additional rings just in case they wear out. So here's the headlamp itself, my friends. Very nice quality product. It's definitely heavier than some headlamps, but this thing does have an 18650 battery in it. So that means longer battery life, much, much stronger performance. And we'll get to all that in just a second. We're just gonna do a quick 360 here. As you can see, it is rotatable. Over here is the battery compartment with an 18650 battery in it. Now, speaking of batteries, you can use CR123 batteries, but I would suggest going with the 18650 battery for the best performance. Now, when it comes to this flashlight, you have the one button right here that will cycle through all the different settings. And of course, turn it off. Firefly mode right there. Turbo mode right here. That is the SOS mode. Now taking a look at the features here, this is waterproof to IPX8 standards, impact resistance to 2 meters, and when it comes to the modes, we'll just start at Firefly, that is 0.2 lumens, and the battery life will last for 65 days, that's incredible. That is low right there, that is 11 lumens, and the battery will last for 107 hours. That is medium, 172 lumens, battery life of 9 hours. That is high, which is 490 lumens, and the battery will last for 178 minutes. Now turbo mode is 750 lumens, and that's good for 118 minutes. With SOS mode, that's the full 750 lumens, and that will last for 270 minutes. The LED is a Cree XM L2 LED with a lifespan of 20 years. On turbo, you are looking at a beam distance of 148 meters. Weight-wise, with an 18650 battery, this is 6.2 ounces. Now, when it comes to the Throughnight TH10 headlamp, this runs $39. And you can see here, it does come with the head mount, which is fully adjustable, and I definitely need to adjust it. What do you guys think? <laughs> now, as you guys can see here, I've only just begun to test it out. I got this in the other day and I've just been kind of using it around the house. I haven't taken it out for any hikes yet. So really I just wanted to get this product. I wanted to shoot this video so you guys can see what this product offers. Because so many people have been asking me, hey, when are you going to get in the through night headlamp? Guys, we have it in. We're going to show it off. We're going to start doing some testing on it now. And more videos will follow in the future. Right now I'm taking a little bit of time to adjust the, the head strap, and I have to admit that it's overly complicated. Uh, this is not a very good design when it comes to adjusting this to fit your head. Now maybe once you get it set for your noggin, you'll be fine and dandy, you'll be happy with it forever, but if you're switching, if you're letting somebody else use it, they're gonna have to go through the pains of adjusting this. Or if, let's say if you're gonna put on a helmet and put that over it, again, you're gonna have to adjust it and it's very complicated, it's overly complicated. What you have here is a main buckle and the main strap that goes around your head to the headlamp is all one piece. So once you adjust one side of this, you have to adjust the middle and the other side as well, or to be unbalanced. So it's just a tad bit overly complicated. Not terribly so. I mean, it's not, you're not, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to get this figured out, of course. But there's easier ways to go about it. Also, because of the strap placement, you have one main strap, which you tension right here on the front. So all the extra strappage is right here in front of your face. I'm not sure if I like that at all, really. It kind of bunches up when you try to put it on, but uh, I think it's something that you could work with. I don't, I don't notice it at all now that I'm wearing it. And as you can see, it's fully adjustable. So you can point that sky high. You can point it down if you need to. Now that we've taken the time and adjusted this for our noggin, I'll go ahead and show you some nighttime footage so you can see the performance of this headlamp. 
It's been a couple weeks since I shot the initial video, so we're finally getting around. We have some good conditions to shoot some nighttime footage. It's been pouring the rain. So we'll start with firefly mode. You can just barely see myself. Here's the next setting. Let's go up. This is the next setting right here. This is starting to get very, very bright. This is the next setting right here. Super bright. This is strobe mode, my friends. Now it is time to go to turbo mode and we'll go for some distance. We'll see how well she performs. Incredibly well. You can see how I'm illuminating the trees. Incredibly bright, guys. Now with this headlamp, it is waterproof and impact resistant. So let's just go ahead and just test that out just a little bit. A makeshift test. I think we actually hit a rock. Let's try that again. It fell a little bit in the water there. Hit a rock pretty good. Definitely more than two meters. Let's try that one more time. Not a problem for the through night headlamp. As you can see here, it's soaking wet. In the future, we'll do more torture tests on it. It has some scuff marks, but that's all right. This thing keeps on ticking. So as you can see right there, my friends, this headlamp performs very, very well. Now in the future, we will be getting this out. We'll do some more testing so I can ultimately do a review for you. A lot of times when you have an 18650 battery powered headlamp, you usually have a very large battery bank that sits on the back side of your head or maybe down in your pocket. I like the fact that it's just centralized right above your head. You it's not super duper heavy. At the same time, it's not super duper light either. One thing that you could definitely do is like when you're wearing your pack, you could have that across your harness, right across your chest like this, and that way you can walk around hands free. That would be something to look into. So my friends, let's go ahead and end this video for now. That is our look at the Thrunite TH10 headlamp. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well. <laughs>